its optimal input use in the short run. So we have the following production function, it is a capitalist type one, and we know that the amount of capital that is used in the production is fixed and it is 9 units. So we have just like 9 machineries or something like that. We know the following information. Our firm sells its output for $1 per unit. This is the price of the output and the wage or the price of the labor is $10 per hour per worker. The questions are the optimal input use. Of course, we we want to know that that how many workers should our firm use in this case if the capital is fixed and in part B we should we should highlight the change if the wage changes from ten dollars per hour to twelve dollars per hour. Okay, let's look at some useful information first. In the short run, at least one of the inputs, usually F capital is fixed, that means our firm cannot change its amount, so it is fixed. Optimal use of labor is when value of marginal product of labor equals to price of labor or the wage per hour per worker in the short run. And value of marginal product of labor can be calculated as price of the output multiplied by marginal product of labor. It is important to not mess up the price of the output and price of the labor which is the which is the wage because these uh, things are completely different. Okay, so it is also <coughs> important to know how to take the first or calculate the first derivative of a function like you can see here because we have to take the derivative of the production function like this. Okay, first of all, before we should start solving this problem, we should collect some useful information from the text. So, we know that amount of capital is 9 unit, price of the output is 1 dollar, but it's not so important by now. Uh, and we have two cases for price of the labor or wages. In the first case it is ten dollar per ten dollars per hour and it changes to twelve dollars in part B. So first of all we should put nine here to the place of capital because capital is fixed and we shall get a simpler form of production function and it will be really easier to work with later. So if you think you can stop video by by clicking the pause button because it is an important part. Okay, now we should calculate marginal product of labor. So we shall take the first derivative 
of this function of the production function and and we get this as a result and this is the marginal product of labor okay now let's determine the value value of marginal product of labor it is simply marginal product of labor is multiplied by price of the output now it is really easy because price of the output is only one dollar per hour so we should multipl mu multiply it by just one and now we have to calculate the optimal use of labor by solving this equation in the first row so you can see the solution here and this means that in the first case when the wage is ten dollars per hour or firms hires 36 workers now in part b it is enough to solve that equation again but we have to change price of labor or the wage to 12 dollars or to 12 so in this case optimal input use will be 